Good afternoon, UHS. And welcome to Wildcat Broadcasting. I'm Bren Meacham. And I'm Caitlin Rydell. And today we're going to take a sneak peek look at the flying in Mary Poppins. We'll be interviewing the golf team, interviews with the National DECA people, and we'll be sharing with you a few ACT tips. First, we're going to take a look at what happens when people fly in Mary Poppins. Backflips. Over the rooftop, step in time. There we go. You definitely don't want to miss seeing Mary Poppins. And now over to Anthony with the golf tee. Okay, we haven't done this in a few weeks, but we're bringing it back because I didn't have a topic this week. Anyway, these two, Dakota Dames Ace and Nick Schmidt, are going to play rock, paper, scissors. All right, guys, the rules are best way to three, go on and cheat, okay? All right. No cheating. And you don't want anything for this, so don't go on cheating. Yeah, go ahead, sorry. All right. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Oh my god. One, two, three, shoot. Are you getting this? One, two, three, shoot. Keep going. One, two, three, shoot. It's the fight to the death. Press two, out three. Always. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Overtime here. One, one, two, three, shoot. Alright, well there we have it. Next minutes are working. Thanks, Anthony. And now we're going to Connor with DECA. Hey guys, it's April. And you know what that means. DECA Internationals. Which this year they will be held in Orlando, Florida. And I'm proud to say that Union High School has four students that are going to Orlando, Florida to participate in Internationals. Those students are Emily Schrader, Lily Edwards, Andre Siat, and Dylan Breeden. Good luck, guys. Congrats guys on making it to nationals. And now just a few ACT reminders. So for juniors who will be taking the ACT test here at school this spring, on April 21st you need to report directly to the new gym and you'll stay there till 9.30 and fill out your ACT information sheets. On April 28th you must be in the new gym no later than 8 o'clock. No exceptions. If you're late you will not be allowed to test. Lunch will be served afterwards, and you should dress comfortably because you're going to be there for a while. And just a few reminders about those two dates. You cannot have food or drink, no electronics at all that make noise, that includes watches. And there is a list of approved calculators on the ACT website, and the school will not provide calculators for you. Hi guys, I've got some ACT tips to share with you. So. Any college-bound student who's going to be taking the ACT needs to first take challenging classes that will help you prepare and that will make you more comfortable. Number two, take the test many, many times. Start taking it your sophomore or junior year. Don't wait until your senior year or you'll be behind. Number three, study the basics before the test. Your simple math like fractions and grammar rules and parts of speech. Number four, get a lot of sleep the night before the test and eat a good breakfast. Number five, bring everything you need for test day. A calculator, an awesome eraser, good pencils, your favorite snack, and a water bottle, and of course your ACT entrance ticket. Number six, write on the test. You can write directly on every single question and cross out answers you don't want, and you can underline on the reading portion, and that'll really help you out a lot. And finally, number seven, breathe. It's not that big a deal. You can always retake it up to six times. It's no biggie. Everybody, almost everybody has to take it. You'll do fine. And now over to everyone's favorite segment, Minute with Mike. Over to you, Mike. Hello, everybody, and welcome to A Minute with Mike with Mike Walker, where this segment I'm going to be playing a game again with Connor Watson. It seems like I play one with him every week, but I do. And we're going to be uh, playing a game like a water challenge game where you have to put water in your mouth and try not to spit it out. And we're going to give you... Well, we'll explain the rules in the next scene. All right, here we are. We got 
I got three random words for him, he's got three random words for me, and we're gonna have to try and put these three random words into like a sentence or like a paragraph, whatever, to try and make the person spit the water out. And, uh, you going first, or, yep, you're, okay, okay. Yeah, because you got, I got the words first, so you got fill it up, get it up there. Make them cheeks go, baby. Alright, you forgot to tell me what my words were. <laughs> okay, what are my words? Good sniff, left leg, flexing. I have to drink that. I forgot. Here we go, baby. So when I was, I was at the gym, I was sitting at the mirror and I was flexing my left leg, and I looked at macaroni and I'm like, mmm. That's a good sniff. <laughs> you didn't even have to laugh. Hey, it's worth the point though, here we go. Your words are crispy, biscuit, and armpit. Okay. So. <laughs> My mom just goes on cooking me biscuits, right? I was munching on a biscuit. All of a sudden, I looked at my armpit. <laughs> Your words are crisp. Wait. You're going again? Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> Mike's words are Christmas, Sloppy Joe, and Bicycle. So when I was riding my bicycle on a Christmas morning, my dad, <laughs> you didn't actually have to do that. I was cooking sloppy gels. This is, <laughs> your words are Raptor, Ankle, and Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Jimmy Buffett. So, <laughs> I was listening to Jimmy Buffett, right? While I was riding my raptor. All of a sudden he turns to his ankle. <laughs> okay! We both lost. Sudden death round. We're gonna both put water in our mouth and not say anything. We have to try and make the person laugh. Whoever spits it out first loses. Okay. Here we go. This has been Wildcat Broadcasting. I'm Brent Meacham. And I'm Caitlin Rydell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.